Welcome everybody, I just got information on this. Uh, this is a post that's actually in Japanese, but we just got an update. I will post the link in the description if you want to read it yourself. I had to use Google Translate on this to be able to read it. But I want to get this information out to you as fast as possible. So September 15th it says, which is today, there's going to be an update to the PTR, and the PTR is going to last till September 20th. So very clear, open-ended communication there. And then it says season two will begin on October 7th, Japan time. I am not fluent with this. Maybe somebody in the chat can, or in the comments can help with whatever, what that means here in this context, but it should be like October 6th, 7th or 8th or something like that. Um, but we know a date at least. If you live in Japan, you know. The other thing is the whole is now added to act one. They call it chapter one. Again, all of this stuff was translated. So cursed city, I think this means city of the damned. I believe that's what this is saying here, uh, along with the river of flame. And then the following zones are newly targeted for raids. I believe terror zones. I think this is just pulling out what we had here. Again, the whole, the cursed city, uh, the following zones will no longer be attack targets, so it won't be terror zones. Grub Den, I think this probably is, um, probably is Den of Evil, if I had to guess. And then we have Harem and Palace, that's pretty, pretty obvious. And then we have Lower Karost, which is also Lower Crust. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite, dude, Stuffed Crust. And we have Black Marsh. Zone was incorrectly added to the raid. Okay, so apparently we also lost Black Marsh. So Black Marsh isn't relevant anymore. New Weakening Amulet. I believe this is actually just a charm. Basically, this is the biggest change that has happened in Diablo 2 in so many years. As far as items go, obviously we have the Terror Zones, but a huge thing. So I skim read through this already. Um, basically, in order to battle immunities in Diablo 2, you know, it's kind of taking some of the way, uh, some of the fun away here, taking away from the fun in the zone with the immunities across every area. They wanted to add six new unique grand charms, so that uh, grant certain monster elemental resistances um, to be disabled, which means like uh, disabling the immunities or breaking immunities, as you would say. Again, this is a Japanese translation. And we're calling this Sunder. So so this is, these are going to be like Sunder Charms, Weakening Charms maybe, that's what they're going to be called, I don't know. Uh, once we get the English post, I'll probably post that in the description as well if that is actually out. Then you guys can go read that. As soon as I get information on that, I'll post it in the description. And then we have 95% regardless of initial resistances. So basically one of these charms, one of these, so we have six elements in the game. Um, one of these charms is going to break the immunity and then bring it down to 95% resistance. And then what that does is, you know, makes it so you can use pierce, so you can use facets and all that stuff and to break their immunity even farther down, which is great. So th this is cool. It's a very big change. I don't know how you think about it. I mean, does it ruin Diablo 2? Is this good? Is this like what we want? To me, I'm okay with experimental changes. This is interesting. It's just a PTR, so things are subject to change. They did say that already. Now, just for those charms really quickly, uh, I, I don't know how this is. Uh, other resistances reduction effects are calculated and only affect non-player units. So I'm interested to see like how these charms affect things. Here we have um, Weakens magic immunity, so 95%. If it's magic immune, it goes down to 95%. And then if you wear it, these have negative effects as well. So they have a positive effect and then they have negative effects. So the magic charm, you lose minus 20 or minus 50 magic resistance. Uh, eating bones, which is the physical one, breaks a physical immunity. 25% damage taken, increased physical damage, which is basically like that damage reduction. Uh, value and then we have sweet frost which is weakens the cold immunity but you lose 75 resist and it looks like 75 75 75 so all of these are minus 75 just the regular resistances and then physical is going to be 25 and then magic is going to be 50 percent so these are this is absolutely insane changes um 
So I believe this is Grand Charm. It could be Amulet. I think it's a Grand Charm. But from the translation and the verbiage and everything like that, talking about being in your inventory, because um, I'm pretty sure we're talking about inventory. Yeah, when you're in your inventory, Grant. Yeah, it does. So I'm pretty sure this is a Grand Charm. Again, link in the description as soon as I have it will be uh, will be below. Uh, new PTR characters. We're going to be doing some testing. I'll be testing this out as soon as I get my hands on this and making a video again on how these changes affect things. What the heck do these terms even do? How does it feel? What like? It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting how this actually changes everything. I think this might flip some things on its head. We'll see how it goes. Let me know what you guys think because this is absolutely buck wild, dude. Like, this is wild. We're actually going to be able to break communities in a different way other than lore res conviction. This is wild. Anyways, much love. You're all beasts.